Nadalich Lauen Paub. Now, if you can guess the language, language which I just spoke then, then you'll be then you'll be getting a pinned comment with your guess. But either way, it either way it means Merry Christmas, everyone. It's Little Al back again, as promised, with a Christmas themed reaction on Christmas Eve, and it's another of Daylight Twinkles videos, one that he recommended to me himself. It's um. So it's called Tank Tanky's React to Thomas and the Missing Christmas Tree. So um, I've known about this series for quite a while. Um, if you don't know Tank Tanky's React, then basically it's a parody of Brony's React, which if it isn't obvious enough from the title, I'm like the use of thumbnail. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's literally just daylight copying the expression of one of the of one of the characters in the um, <laughs> in the in the episode, but. Um, I, I I find this interesting because I absolutely love Brony's React. Brony's React is is very very freaking funny, and um, so seeing kind of it taken into a Thomas episode, it'd be interesting seeing the different kind of um, if there's a di if there's a different kind of humor style which is created from from this. Like because obviously like like they they <laughs> for the first thing like M MLP and Thomas they're very different shows. Like it, it's not just like in who they're created by, but also just like their, their humor type and their just style. So it'd be interesting seeing kind of what these an analysts, <laughs> what these um rea what these reactors uh, pick up on, and um but but no, it should be interesting. So as Daylight himself game it, I think it has the amazing gamer, hundred and eleven Chessy Daylight Ashton M. I think is also in it. I can't remember who else is in it. I think. Oh, Little Blue as well. He's also in it. But I think there's a special guest appearance for this one as well. So a few people that I'm aware of. People who I've worked with. And, um... So, be... So, I... You know what? We're going to stop to rolling. Just Merry Christmas, everyone. And <laughs> let's enjoy this. Peaceful afternoon. Got the American flag. <laughs> that just triggers me. <laughs> Doesn't actually. Hello. Oh, it's Ethan! <laughs> and this is a sort of reaction sort of video to the episode Thomas and the Missing Christmas. <laughs> so <laughs> unenthused yet. Yeah, unenthusiastic to be there. But uh let me get a little closer to the camera. Get the camera closer to me. Do I go traditional hat? Or Christmas hat. Gamer, do it. Do it. Both. Do it. Oh. Let's react. Okay. Eli, you're late. Come on. I remember I this. The react is starting. Yes, I'm coming. All right. Let's do. So they all wearing Christmas hats. I'm pleased. Uh, I've, I've got to keep this on now. Well, I was originally going to take it off because it's a little yep. bit distracting, but I've got to keep we this on now. Also, I look Christmas absolutely. I look absolutely indeed. ridiculous. Yeah, come on. Let's put ornaments on the tree. Oh, hey. Merry Christmas, tankies. I consider myself one. <laughs> Love the little snowflake animation. It's very simplistic, but you know, it's very effective. Jesse Daly here. What's up, Jess? So, today is the day. Another Tankies React video. Oh, this one. That fucking time. <laughs> it's a Christmas episode. Hi, guys. Thomas the Friends 47 here. And today I'm back Ooh. for another Tankies React. And this time, Thomas and the Missing Christmas. Have you been on it before? You know what time it is? It's Christmas time! Yes! <gasps> and that's right, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we're going to be watching an all-time classic called... Classic. Polar Express. Oh. Oh, we're not watching the Polar Express? Oh, that's a Peanuts reference. That's a Peanuts reference with the oh, know, trumpet for voice. Oh, I know, Pony Horse Woming Specials. Brandon's React... Wait, 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 have Brandon's React done that? To, uh, half-warning, half-warning to... Is it like half woman gift or something? That was the Christmas special. I've probably never done that. In Christmas tree. Oh, well, why'd you say so? Hey. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what was that sound effect? 
happy holidays to you guys, and it's great to be back for, for us doing Tanky's React, and during Christmas. All right, then. Well done. <laughs> Thanks for stating the obvious. It was two days before Christmas. Many children were expected on the All right, George. Sodor. Oh, I love Christmas. The, the, these so guys, do I, pal. The river snow all over the area, it was so realistic. I love I, I love what they do with that in the Marvel series. Realist, realistic. It's based in Britain. I live in Britain. It's not freaking snowing! I wonder what takes them so long, you know, to add in the snow. Oh, yeah, that's... Yeah, like, the snow effects must have been such... Like, the same thing with, like, Ghost Train. This, like, because with, like, the fog effects. The snow effects must have been such a pain there. Like, I'm j I can just imagine, um, like, what they used to make it as authentic as possible. Like, that did things to the rails and, like, the, um, mechanics of, 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 of the engines. I can just imagine how much of a pain that was. So... was now Good point, Little Blue. <laughs> Good point. Thomas. Quickly down, I'm proud of you. <laughs> Our Christmas tree has arrived just in time. Mr. Beast is spreading Christmas trees on the island of Soto for his Team Trees project. I always thought this station was nap for growing up and realized it was Tidman. <laughs> Will we be able to sing Carol? Tidman! I, I, one thing that's always, that's always struck me is how tiny Tidmouth is in the t in the TV se TV series. It's an absolute joke. Consider when you look at like illustrations in the railway ser series books, it's flipping huge. <laughs> Who asked Thomas? We'll see. When Thomas asks if they could sing Christmas carols, it makes me think of something which I actually have just thought of within the past couple of days. I thought to myself as I was watching them perform this song that there's one section of the song which I shall use in this video. So I thought to myself, if I ever have a real Christmas train, and if I ever have a real steam engine at that Christmas train, I shall attempt to play selections from Nut Rocker. It would be nice to sing carols again, sighed Thomas as he said hey, Edward. <laughs> Edward photo of Edward video bombing there. <laughs> Here's the mission. Get the Christmas tree to the other side of the railway line as fast as you can. No delays and no confusion. That's gotta be solid snake Thank reference. You, Jim. We don't want to disappoint Sir Top and Hat. Thomas collected the tree safe. Well he's not real, so <laughs> snow drifts lay ahead. I mean what am I saying? Uh Oh dear. <laughs> Thomas didn't even. <laughs> I love how much of a buzzkill it is. It's just, it's just oh, oh, sh oh shit. <laughs> it just looked like he was trying to stop. It's like he was trying to get stuck in the snow. More emotion <laughs> Try. Is conveyed in that face than in many feature films nowadays. Thomas tried. Do you see what I mean? That's what make. That's what makes it stand out. It's. The the kind of still images are so expressive. You know exactly what that character is thinking. Move, but he couldn't. I believe that's in the same footage uh, from Thomas that was... and Terrence. Just making it worse. Hmm. Uh, excuse me for one second. Didn't notice uh, that uh, before. Uh, oh Thomas daylight! Snowed under. Uh, oh daylight! Bad. <sighs> what have I done? Oh my god! If no one mention if no one mentions here that that Don, Don I can't tell if it's Donald or Douglas that Donald has Edward's face. I swear to God, if no one mentions it. Silence. Don't you mean? Silence. Oh. We must assume he. Why? Gamer, how did you even mi how did you miss that? How did you miss that? How? 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 You you pick up you pick up on the tiniest goof in Carmel Henry and you miss this out. How? How? Is stranded. The engines now felt sorry for Thomas. Gordon's face. He's just like uh, typical Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> it's fair. Douglas and Henry are concerned. Why isn't Gordon? I don't know about you, but I always like to recreate the scene during the holidays. No. Is that studio equipment right there in the corner? Hey, who forgot that... to crop that shot for the DVD remaster? Oh, you, oh, you, you picked that up. You picked that up. God's sake. Entertainment. You've had one job. The <laughs> one. Just the one. I'm just imagining. I'm just imagining that being that being Jesse's um, ringtone. Uh, 
Just that, just someone getting, getting like Donald and Douglas' theme as a ringtone. That'd be so cool. Little as far as twins. It was because it was very catchy. I actually had to look it up on the Thomas Wiki. It said that there were Wiki. tripods and shots, so I had to go back and watch it again, and I didn't notice it. So I went and looked, and yes, there are tripods and two shots. So I feel like that actual tripods. About to be fair, I actually didn't notice that in my videos. You don't appreciate these things until you try to parody 2001: A Space Odyssey shot for shot. Hmm. Suddenly, it came to a drift that was deeper than the rest. Hell! Hell! <laughs> I hate that line. I hate how when George Garland... Because at least in Ringo Starr's version, it's muffled. George Garland doesn't even try. Help! I'm suffocating in here! Suffocating! Oh, it's Thomas. Come on, the poor wee engine must be frozen to the frames in there. Do you know that real life that in January 1952, over Donner Pass, by the city of San Francisco, passenger train was snowbound for six days straight? This is one way... Six days straight? straight. That's actually interesting. I'll look that up. Bless you. Kudos to Thomas for hanging in that long, like, you'd think he would have suffocated in there. <laughs> He's Finally, a train. Eh? What took you guys so long? Well, that's one way to get a snow out of the space. What are you gonna get a cold? Dun, 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 dun. Oh, this music, dude. Oh, it brings back so many memories. Oh, it's beautiful. The water. I actually didn't. I actually didn't really grow up with season two that much. I don't have that much nostalgia for season two. That was the mill. That was. Really I'm more of a season three guy. Oh, all the snow, all the trees, and all that stuff. It's so amazing. Sir Topham Hatt greeted them warmly. As a reward for all your hard work, you may go and enjoy the carols. Ugh, Thomas's face is doing that twisty thing. Is that where, like, Journey Beyond Sodor got that inspiration from? One, Twisting two, thing. three! Suddenly, like magic, the station was... What's with the filter? Flying. What's with the filter? Every cast member, you know, the, the, of the trains are there. Jeez, can you believe it's Christmas again? Only the Americans... No! No, I get that! I actually get that! You break... Screw you, I get that! The I get that reference. Fans, they'll, they'll can you believe? The British tongue. Nope, nobody's getting laid to the North Pole. It's it's too cold. Your dick will get... Your dick will shrivel up like a pack of dimes. This view is, well, I have no idea what I'm talking about. I do! Christmas Screw time. you! All down the line. Three cheers oh, Thomas oh, I love that song. I love that song. Friends who have made this occasion possible. They have all sort of hats. I love how Diesel makes a ca- I'm not sure if they're going to show it here, but I love how Diesel makes a cameo in that scene. <laughs> now, I may not know much about steam engines, really, but it seems like putting hats on smokestacks is just not a good idea. <laughs> it's very It affects weird. your draft and the firebox. All of it. It's only a model. They must be the out of steam here. Touch down gently in the snow. Bringing the greatest surprise of all, Santa Claus. See, that's that 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 George Carlin line I referenced earlier. It was over this. No one's getting laid in the, the North Pole. Was Santa Claus versus King Kringle, uh, Saint Nicholas, or just Nicholas. <laughs> all right, Christmas. my uncle's called Nick. <laughs> yeah. That's just several names from this guy. My uncle is Santa Claus. My brother. He's got the same face. Is that a... Is that a night... I've just noticed, like, little blue. Is that a Nightmare Before Christmas hat? Hey, Christmas bro. Hat. Hey, what's up, bro? Have you ever seen the Fat Controller and Santa Claus in the same picture? Handshaking well, as well. They are in the same picture. It's no fun getting stuck in the snow, whispered Thomas to Percy. It would have it would have been a really funny I know that it was like it's adapted from the railway series, but it would have been really funny if they if they'd have like it was a, if it was actually the fat controller in the in the controller of Christmas party, suit. Happy holiday, Percy. Happy holiday, everyone. Happy holiday. Zays. Holidays, Thomas. That's awesome. And I'm really bug to you. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. That's the end Game of up. Thomas and the Missing Christmas Tree. I like you him. What? Because, uh, I do like him. It's good. And, you know, because looking back at this, and uh, especially the early episodes of Thomas, you know, when they were, when it was Christmas. This is one when of it was the good. stories <laughs> that I feel gets you excited for Christmas. Mm. Um, as a Thomas fan... This is always on my list to watch. That's my thoughts on. I like Thomas him, Christmas Matthew Street, Franks. I like him. Christmas tree, and it's 
very very interesting it's a very good episode it actually was the last episode narrated by Ringo Starr and that was Thomas and the missing Christmas tree as it's called in the UK I don't know about the US I, I think it's called that. the same thing I think it is called the same thing wait so hang on was was gamer watching the Ringo Starr version of this or like I'd, li- I'd like to know a bit of backstory was he actually watching the um Ringo Starr version of this or was he watching the George Carlin version like everyone else oh, but uh, this wasn't a favourite, but still a great one nonetheless of uh, Season 2? No. Yeah, Season 2, I think this was, wasn't it? Let me look it, it up. It was Season yeah. 2, yeah. I-, I was right, it was Season 2 all along. Off the top of my Thank head. <laughs> uh, Mr. Mind Blocks, or Railroad Philosophy Productions, or whatever you wish to call him, for inviting me to be part of this. So, And I hope to eventually get around to doing some collaborations on this train set at home that I have. If I can ever get anything besides this done. I look forward to the next Tankies React. You know, because I remember we did Halloween, and now... I've seen that episode. We finally have done Christmas. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a merry and safe Christmas out there. Happy New Year. Peace, and little bloop. Peace out. Oh, he did it! <laughs> that, was com- that was completely unintentional. I swear, that was completely unintentional. He just did the exact same thing as me. Uh, to be in this Tankies React episode. I love doing Tankies React. And nah. hopefully I'll see you all guys and on the next one. As always, Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Merry Chrysler. Christmas. Everyone watching at Tankies Crisis. React and everyone in the comments, everyone just hope you all have an amazing Christmas and a very happy new year. So I'm the amazing game. I love how genuine he sounds. On Tankies React to also, Tank- also with the cat, with the camera and ang- with the Santa hat angled down like that way. It looks like with a camera. It looks like I'm wearing a Russian's hat. <laughs> so I'm the missing Christmas tree. Join us on next time. I'm Chancey. Merry Christmas from Bye. Siberia. See you later and Merry Christmas. I probably lost all my Russian subscribers there. Oh, better catch my train. See ya. Oh. So long, guys. I'll see you in 2022. That about does it for this Tankies React episode. I'm so happy I finally made it. And I wish you guys a very Merry Christmas. Darn ah. it, not again. When did it happen last time? The silence, the bride now well, that was funny. That was very funny. Do you know? it's Coordinated. <laughs> I've never... We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. That was pretty good. Yes, it was. It was certainly in key. It just occurred to me that I forgot to say Merry Christmas. So, Merry Christmas. Thank you for watching. And now, I need to get an appropriate, pitiful Christmas tree to match my pitiful Thomas. It's not that pitiful. I could never hope to make something like that. That's very impressive. They've made that. It's not wheelchair accessible, this Thomas engine. I might include this just for the sake of giving the people who make this video something to laugh about. There we go. Admire my Thomas. Well, that was that was fun. That was a lot. Of, that was a lot, nice little fun Christmas reaction. And uh, yeah, yeah, ev- ev- everyone that everyone that did this really good, really good work on this. I know it's been a while that uh, since they've done another Tankies react, but I think everyone had had really valid points to say. Everyone was really um, everyone was really up for it. There was energy in this. Like everyone was in, like enthusiastic about Christmas. Um, so. Um, all, all my Christmas wishes to you got you guys on the on the crew and to daylight as well for putting this whole thing together and for recommending this to me this hat is getting more and more wonky as I speak so, so, so <laughs> I've just got to wrap this up before it falls off <laughs> um but but no um that was my Christmas reaction for 2021 and I'm not sure if I will um upload before the new year but um if if I don't then I'll, then I'll be wishing you a very happy 2022. We. This is Little Al speaking, and I will see you guys next time. It was uncomfortable anyway. <laughs>